What doesn't happen very often is that we talk about Fnatic last because we are used to seeing them at the top of the tables, but now they are hanging there without a single win so far, and we are two weeks in. Yeah, it's the first time we've ever seen Fnatic go 0-3 in their first two games. Fnatic are done. 61% said yes, Fnatic oh! are done. Ignar now breaking the agreement, though, as he starts to come down. Oh, that's so well played! The sync up on the abilities. Reckless is going to die again! One thing that people often forget, we don't have time for that. Ignar's looking for another play. I feel like he can't miss a hook. He can't miss a hook. He just keeps going forward, looking for another one. That's going to be the fourth stack. They're trying to find the lockup. Hillisang already getting burned down. He may not even have a chance. Upset grabs another one. Reckless is living out it's a nightmare on the bottom oh. side. It's not done yet. Here we go. Freddy Krueger into the bot lane. Just going to take him out. Reckless wants to wake up, but it's not a dream, baby. He's just getting dunked. Will they put Fnatic down to 0-4? Looks like they're going to try to find the interest of the fight there. It's the Uwamne ultimate. It's clean from the cannon, and it is an absolute bloodbath. Triple for Oda Wamne. The Fountain will barely keep Nemesis safe. All right, let's turn our attention to the next game. Fnatic are zero and four, and in the last place here in the LEC, what is happening? I believe Fnatic can bounce back. I have a lot of faith in the organization. They have proven it time and time again. But that Rift Shell could turn into so much more, and Lost Padita has something to say about it. The Binding does connect. Zack now looking to turn the fight. The Kai'Sa very strong, but the Zack may have overstayed his welcome. He's not going to catch anybody on that ultimate. Nesh needs to make it up safety. There's oh, the stun. No. There's Sen comes on the back side. Now looking to find the follow-up. Now looking to leap in onto Hillisang, but a perfect stopwatch is going to stop him. Stuns him up. Lands the Binding. Hillisang does not go down, but the knockup is there. Yasuo trying to convert. He does manage to go back. Sen Kux cannot turn it in the end. Reckless is online, and Rogue got to be That's running. Profit. He finds the stun, though. Profit moving under the backside, he can try to turn this one. He can try to land the multi-man knockup. CQ still alive, running from Blippo. Blippo is going to take him down in the end. That's the 300 kill goal. That is a bloodbath on the top side of the map. Broxa leaps over, makes it out to safety. The Mission Impossible escape. Nemesis has no mana, but still, they are desperate to keep this fight going. Is he going to get pulled back? Yes, Prophet. He smells blood in the water. He wants to take down the Syndra. Kekis is moving forward too. Blippo trying to stop them from getting anything there. Is the all team? Blippo now going to turn it. He's going to take this lane right back in his favor. Prophet trying to play this one well. Hits the first strike. Hits no. Blippo, beautiful disdain. Who's gonna get it? He takes him down. Absolutely outplayed with the Orga. Nemesis constantly zoning away what did, constantly dissuading him from looking for the engagement. Cross going. This could be the last dance. Profit finding a good engage. Reckless locked up. Wadid buying a little bit more time, but he's just instantly deleted. Brox bringing multiple members back. Profit trying to find anything. Set cuts in the middle of the team, but he's just gonna get taken out. Triple for Reckless. He wants a little bit more. Can he get anything else in the exchange? The Quadra. I cannot believe it. The Penta kill for Reckless. He he is back, ladies and gentlemen, taking down Rogue. I don't have to prove something going against Buipo. I don't have to prove anything at this point. I'm way past that. 2018 happened because of me and him. 2019 is going to happen because of me versus him. Usually you go Rod of Ages into something like a uh, Lich Bane, or on his Hourglass, depending on your preference. Ooh, that was actually a flash from Whippo. Well played around the power spike on level 6. This is when Ur got very strong relative to the Scion. Now Nemesis is roaming up, so this is the limited time window. So as wants to bring this one home, suppressed! And now, Ooh, Scion now moving down to the bottom lane to try to deny something. This could be a bit awkward if he comes in too late. He's just going to focus on clearing the way. Puts him in a bit of an awkward spot there. His grill is going to tank a few tower shots. So Whippo doing a good job of holding on here. That last little piece of plating. Holding on for dear life as the duo for Misfits is on the top side. Max already going the flash forward, trying to lock down the Kaisa. The Black Shield can now come in, but where is the ulti going to go? Now pulling back as Hillisang wants to turn this one, but Maxor is in the midst of the fight. Hillisang now going golden as they're going to back Fevin. off. Unstoppable. Fevin coming in, looking for the cleanup duty. Can he find it in the midst of this team? Landing it, but no one has died yet. The chain's right there. Finds the kill. The ignite goes down on Reckless, but now they have to retreat because Nemesis is looking for a little bit of cleanup. But that's the clone. That's the wrong target. Oh! And the snipe from Soaz. And it's a long, slow goodbye for Fnatic as Misfit are going to take down Fnatic in our match of the day, killing Reckless in his own fountain to close it out. They need to beat Origin. They need to beat Origin and start getting the wins, because if they don't get this win or they don't get tomorrow win, they will be out of playoffs already. Now there's no wards up on the top side of the map, and that river ward is so crucial for knowing where the enemy jungler is, but Sharp! Fnatic know where these guys are. Oh, going to oh go immediately God. in for Patrick. They know but he doesn't have the devour available. First blood! Okay, Paranoia is available here. Here comes Broxa. No, just leaps right into the pit. Is now Cold is going to heal up so quickly. Will be able to grab that one in the end, but the follow-up is here. Mithy Whoa. now trying to run for his life. Has saved the 80 carry, but Reckless just goes right in. He says, this is a beast for me. Unstoppable from the Scion. The Blast Cone is there. This mating smash. If he charges up, he can hit a target. Oh, Big oh. damage! Oh. Zoe, so much damage here. The dive, the patience coming in. Mithy, no hope. The double kill now for Nemesis. Finally. Uh...
a win. I mean, you had one already under your belt, but I feel like this was a very important one and that Origin was really the team to beat. They just came off a win versus G2, and I'd love to know how you feel about this specific game. Um, I think after last week, we just realized that if we don't start winning now, then we're probably going to be too late. You can see how important this game is for both of these lineups, for Fnatic desperately clawing up the standings, and for Vitality, who are trying as hard as they can to hold on to this number two spot. Oh, hold on. Zuke, though, going for Nemesis. This could be the first big boon. Out comes the Nocturne Ultimate. Goes into the air, oh. flashes forward to Zuke. Fnatic have this one started up. It is getting shredded through Mowgli. Moment of chance. Can he steal it? Flash over the wall. Brox is going to get that, that one, one, though. And now the fight needs to break out. Vitality need to find the edge here. Moving forward. Mowgli incredibly low. Locked up here. Hillisang's going to find the ball. Reckless raining down hell with the pulling on the back line. Mowgli immediately deleted. And Vitality knows the tree. But Atrilla just trishing out damage across the fight. A drowsy combo shard means he will not go down. Just barely missing on the super trouble. But Wakabo's able to escape. Nemesis on the hunt. He gets the shutdown. Fnatic need to end the game here. Cannot afford to let this go for another team fight. Nemesis stepping forward, getting the damage down on the tower. Fnatic may just look to end it here. Suzuki now stepping Attila. forward. Is this the hero moment? Attila now on a killing spree. Here comes Still Mowgli. the ashes alive. Jack Jackal stepping forward. Mowgli is up. Reckless oh, forward. No. This is his moment. And he shines right when the team needs it most. What goes up must come down. For sure. I don't think Reckless will be a problem, trust me. So Fnatic will now force the Baron. There is no vision in this area of the map. Shaka have to check blind, and they're checking into a level 15 Whippo that's hungry for blood. Nemesis checks onto Odoamne. That's the Requiem as well, used by the Carthus. That's one down. Vox on a killing spree. Odo dies as well. Memento trying to get in, but he's gone. And Fnatic knocking on the door. Looking for that sixth win of the split. Upset engaged on the Requiem comes out as well. Upset trying to survive. We'll get chased back to his fountain, but all of the inhibitors are down, and Fnatic don't really care about the kills. All they see is the Nexus. A triple charm into knockup. They're gonna clean this one up. The Nexus goes down, and Fnatic get their sixth win of the season. One step closer to playoffs for Fnatic. It's a Sejuani who can be surprisingly strong in these duels. Um, having that pressure is very, very bad. Ooh, Bwepo manages to connect a full combo onto Soaz. Flash is available for Soaz. He's down to 100 HP. Slice and Dice is not available just yet. One more hit from Bwepo is all that's going to be needed. First blood. And it looks like it's tough. All right, there's an opportunity. Soaz is going to get some help. There's a teleport being channeled by Nemesis, but I think Bwepo may just be dead before it can arrive. Bwepo actually piecing out. Turns back around. Room Prism by some time as he's locked in place. Now the first kill will be in World Ender, so we'll come back to fight. Nemesis is running away with the Claw of Doom. Blippo kills Soaz! Nef Everbin can't find the damage yet. The Overload is not going to find the kill. But Fnatic they end up securing the Baron, and now they're on the doors of Misfits' base. And Misfits, we said it at the beginning, there are a few chances left. Playoffs, a spot is on the horizon, and Fnatic over the fight. Oh, Fnatic going for the dive! They've got on Summer! They killed him under his tower! Reckless is unstoppable at 5, 1, and 5. Whippo gets lucky kill number 7, and this might just be the final push. Fnatic have deconstructed Misfits, and they're on the Nexus. Their foot is on Misfits' throat. There are no more second chances, and Misfits so as 0-9 on the day as Fnatic stored the Nexus. Fnatic truly are back in the fight for playoffs and the finals. I don't aim for being a farm bot for late game. I actually respect Reckless a lot, but I just don't feel like he's a threat to me. Jinkos has to make a move. 6,000 HP left on the bat and the Realm Walk coming out as well. They're just going onto the back. They're looking at... Oh, oh my god! god. A great fight! G2! The perfect team fight! They take it all! They take down three! They even get the chase down as well! The Elder will be in their eyes as Fnatic just die one by one! Now G2, they're going to teleport I in wonder. And this, I think, is the sick. I don't know. Either way. It doesn't way. matter because it's already been started up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Baron going. The double mountains are the target. That's uh, gone. G2 pushing mid. They have. They're round warping. They're round warping in. G2 are no. going into the base. The Baron buff, though. They can get the rituals. How many can they stop? G2, you've got to stop them all. you got to stop them all. They're in the base. G2 are looking for the win. Can they pull it off? The round warp. Once again, the red who goes out. They play through the next hit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no way. The next hit. Towers of the one inside G2. Get the first one. The red does it in his name. Fnatic, it looked like they were going to end the game. G2, they were on the Nexus. We thought that was it, but they made the split-second decision to just 
crush the Nexus. One slip up this game in the bot lane, but otherwise incredibly clean play from Fnatic. And right here, right now, they lock themselves in for third place.